Hi everyone, I hope you are continuing to stay safe. This week, we have some very difficult news to share. Three more people we support tested positive for COVID-19, bringing the total number to five people. One of those people, Harold Williams, passed away from complications due to COVID-19 on April 22nd. He was so beloved by many. Staff members who worked with Harold remember fondly his sense of humor and how much he loved crafting, religion, and singing and dancing to his favorite songs. We are very saddened by this devastating loss and we plan to share a full obituary honoring Harold and his life in the near future. To date, 10 of our staff members have tested positive for COVID-19. Whenever someone tests positive for the virus, we notify anyone who may have had contact with this person. Staff members are required to wear masks in residential locations, as well as in common areas of office locations. Frequent thorough hand washing, frequent sanitation of highly touched surfaces, and when possible, social distancing are also required. Trinity staff members are doing everything they can to keep the people they support, themselves, and their coworkers safe during these tough times. All Trinity staff members received a COVID-19 Trinity Strong pledge this week that they are signing to reaffirm their commitment to wearing masks, social distancing, cleaning and sanitizing, hand washing, practicing good hygiene, monitoring health and symptoms, and allowing people to count on them. The people they support, their colleagues, their families, and their neighbors in the community. In positive news, one of the first people we support who tested positive for the virus is no longer showing symptoms of COVID-19 and no longer requires oxygen. In addition to keeping the people they support healthy and safe, Staff members are making every effort to keep people engaged and connected during this difficult time. Friends who live at different residential locations and who miss getting to see each other at their day programs are calling each other on the phone or through video chats. Staff members are also helping to coordinate calls with family members to ensure people stay connected to their loved ones. Curriculum and materials regarding safety were distributed to all residential locations. People did a word search a science experiment with pepper in a bowl of water to demonstrate how soap propels germs, a safety scavenger hunt, and reviewed safety features around their homes as well as fire and tornado drills. Also this week, people planted seeds, participated in a field day, created bird feeder baskets to celebrate Earth Day, joined a discussion about self-advocacy from home, and put their musical and creative talents to use. One person who receives intermittent support from Trinity, Angelo, wrote a song about wanting to return to work, a sentiment that many people can relate to during this pandemic. The full song was posted to our Facebook page earlier in the week. All people supported by Trinity also received a pledge to combat COVID-19 written by members of the Illinois Crisis Prevention Network team. With the pledge, people received tracking sheets to mark down how many times each day they washed their hands, covered coughs or sneezes, wore a mask, or socially distanced themselves. People who take the pledge will compete against other homes, networks, and Trinity's administrative team and winners will receive fun prizes and a lunch with the administrative team after the COVID-19 crisis has passed. Trinity's Technology Enhancing Capabilities Lab received a $9,300 grant from the Arc of Illinois for technology implementation in residential locations to help people stay engaged and connected during the pandemic. More information will be forthcoming about this grant. Trinity also received a $35,000 grant from the Coleman Foundation to be used for our response to COVID-19. Since the crisis began, we have spent thousands of dollars on personal protective equipment, cleaning supplies, food, medicine, and other supplies. 
We are very grateful for this grant, which will help offset some of those costs. Additionally, the Trinity Services Homeless Support Team has been responding to the significant risk that the COVID-19 pandemic poses for persons who are experiencing homelessness. In the past five weeks, the Homeless Support Team has housed 17 people and expects to house five more households by the end of next week. The team has been awarded extra funding because of their success. Recently, the Will County Board approved spending up to $100,000 to provide for housing needs during the pandemic, and United Way of Will County is working with local agencies, including Trinity, to provide housing assistance to people affected by the crisis. Additionally, the Trinity Homeless Support Team has been recognized by the Will County Continuum of Care leadership for their outstanding work. The team is one of only two teams in Will County that are still housing persons during the pandemic. As a reminder, we are still seeking positive messages in the form of selfies or short videos that we can share with the people we support and other supporters to celebrate Giving Tuesday now in a couple of weeks on May 5th. Please take a moment to write out your favorite positive saying or phrase and take a photo with it. Send these photos to us in a private message and we will share them throughout the day on May 5th. Additionally, we have an exciting announcement to make that the Coleman Foundation is providing Trinity Services with a matching grant of $25,000. This means that any donation made to Trinity from individuals between now and June 1st will be matched dollar for dollar. We realize that not everyone has the ability to donate right now, but we would appreciate any help spreading the word about this match opportunity. We have had to cancel some of our annual fundraisers, including our golf outing, and our special event venue, the Roxy, is temporarily closed, resulting in a sharp decline in fundraising revenue. We are very appreciative of any donations or help spreading the word. We will also be sending out information soon about an opportunity on Monday and Tuesday to advocate for adequate wages for direct support professionals and frontline staff supporting people with disabilities. Please keep an eye on our social media accounts for this important information. Thank you for your ongoing support. We will get through this together. Together we are trying to be strong. Stay safe and we'll see you next week.